This is just a quick video on my uh, Variac uh, supply that I built. Let's see. Handles, because this thing's heavy. I need to get wheels on it, but it's pretty much finished now. All the way up to 270. Meter goes up to 300, which is exactly what we need. I added 15 amps there because the meter didn't go up in like normal steps for some reason. I don't know why. But there we go. I was going to add 25, but I just couldn't be bothered. So I was also going to do 50, 150, and 250 on the uh, volts as well. But there we go. Um, input socket there. At the moment, I've just got this little extension, like, oh, not really extension, but adapter made up that we can plug into there. Um, I'll show you the inside of it. Oh, actually, before we do that, I've got a socket. Nothing special, just some normal sockets here. I don't even know that. This is inside. It's a bit messy. Um, we'll start off on the side panel here. The reason that this is here is because I couldn't get another one of these switches for there um, at the time. So I just used this switch and just sort of connected it together temporarily until I can get another one of these. Yes, this is deliberately bent. It's so that it's out of the way of this. <laughs> Otherwise, it would hit that, which would not be ideal. It's a very, very tight fit in there. I don't know if you can see, but it's all very compact. But it was built that way to be compact. Um, because I wanted it to take up as little room as possible. Um, there's that. The wiring is a bit messy, I have to admit, and there's no gland on there, which could potentially be a problem in the long run, but it's okay for now. Um, this is the inside. There's obviously the big Variac. 20 amps rated, but I honestly think that they have uh, accidentally put the wrong sticker on it because it seems more like a 15 amp to me. But there we go, we've got the uh, proper insulator things on the terminals of the Variac, which go down into those connectors there. That just there is in case something happens and this comes loose. It doesn't ground itself out and go bang. That's part of the soft start circuit, because um, big Variacs like this usually have, well, they do have a problem with inrush current, which will trip fuses and breakers and all kind of bad things, which we don't want. So. Basically, uh, when it first powers on, this is in series with it, this little lamp here, which limits the current. And then after a few seconds, this contact here will short this lamp out of the circuit. And then, yeah, that's just pretty much how it works. That's the output. Uh, that's the output trip. Um, that's the input, and that's the output contactor. This is a spare um, for that, or if I decide I want to put a DC option, which I'm probably going to do at some point. There's plenty of room in here for a little rectifier. Um, and there's plenty of room on the front panel for another indicator there and a DC on off switch there. So I might do that. Um, just because I can and because why not? <laughs> but yeah, it is a bit messy. But it's fit for purpose, it works. Ignore all the crap in the back here. I haven't quite cleaned it out properly. I just sort of threw it together and didn't think to uh, do that. I need to put wheels on it, I've already said that though. But I think I shall power it on, might as well. Let's do it. Right, that is plugged in. And that just goes into there for the time being. So first off, I'll open it, actually, no. We'll do that in a minute. So first off, we want the mains input. And that is the soft start circuit doing its thing. That flickering on the camera, that is not visible in person. In fact, I didn't even know that there was LEDs in there. Well, I knew there were, but not four like that. Then the output switches is that. And then as we bring that up, you can see the voltmeter going. And then, obviously, the current meter won't do anything until we actually put a load on it. Uh, the switches are literally just switches. But this meter is actually very much accurate, and I know it's accurate because I measured it with my multimeter um, to calibrate it perfectly. And 
They are indeed both accurate. I also straightened that because it was slightly crooked uh, and it was annoying me. So they're fixed now. But I will now show you the inside of it when you power it on. So we'll start off with the mains input. There we go. See the lamp absorb the inrush and then that contactor shorts out. One of them's buzzing a little bit. I'm not sure which one, but it's annoying. Um, and then this one will go in. See, it goes in slightly. That's just the main outputs. Um, yeah. I wired the um, meters directly on the main outputs so that if it's off, you'll see it go up. Which is why I've got switches on there. So that, that will tell you if it's been left on a voltage, because I'm quite prone to doing that, stupidly. But there we go. This switch is so shit, I really want to get another one of these. Uh, I think it's made by a company called Arrow. They're really nice switches, though. I love them. Uh, I only had the one, unfortunately. But there we go. We can adjust the uh, timer for the soft start as well. I did actually get a uh, proper thing for it. I got this thing here. Hold on, let's just open it up. Right, this proper little timer thing, I got this for it, but and then I got that, and I was like, oh, I can just use that. That would be perfect for what I need. And this can be used for all sorts of other things as well. So then I've got this for other projects, which is always nice. But yeah, and that one's obviously not used right now. Um, when I get, if I decide to, but... Uh, DC option, then I can. That's pretty much it though, really. Um, I'll demonstrate it working, I might as well. It would be rude not to, wouldn't it, really? Right then, so to test it, we have 300 watt halogen lamp in here. Um, so, power on, soft start finished, output, output switch, and then we start bringing it up. See, it's barely glowing there. You feel the heat from it. There's an awful lot of infrared coming out of there. And then we start winding it up. What, 100 volts about there. Which is exactly 100 volts on the variant. Quite bright. And then, as we bring it up. 200. 240, 270, that is bright, goodness me, let's see if the output can take that, of course it can, heat from that is absolutely insane. That's ridiculous, that. <laughs> That's only 300 watts. I've got a 500 watts up there over here. I think it's this one, isn't it? Might be this one. Yeah, 500 watts. What's that one? I've got a bunch of them here. This is, oh no, this is a 300 watt. That one must be 200, I think. Uh, Oh no, this is 500 watts, never mind. Ignore me, that was me having a brain fart. <laughs> it's 500 watts in there at the moment. And the uh, output can handle that, no problem. You can see the uh, ammeter go off a little bit when it powers on. <laughs> that is insane, the amount of heat coming off of that though. Oof. But there we go.